Cats are an integral part of the family, and you might wonder whether your pets see you as their mom. It's unlikely that cats see people in the same way they would their feline birth mom, but it is possible that your cat sees you as a surrogate, and much of cats' behavior and affection toward humans indicates that they see us as part of their social group. Keep watching this 15 signs your cat considers you its mother. Number 15. They groom you. Have you seen cats in the wild grooming each other, especially the females who take it upon themselves to ensure that everyone is clean? Your house cat has the same instinct and may start grooming their human. A few licks on your hand may not be so bad, but waking up to a rough cat tone through your hair might be a bit too far. If your cat has gone to this extra step to tell you they love you, you may need to set a boundary early on. Number 14. She gives you love bites. Some cats express their affection through love bites. You can tell the difference between a love bite and an aggressive bite by how hard she bites you. If it hurts, you better watch out. A light, playful bite that merely tickles is one way your cat lets you know she loves you. If your cat likes to nibble on your toes or arm, she wants to play with you. You are likely one of her favorite humans. Number 13. They sleep with you. Cats are, by nature, very independent creatures. It should be taken as a compliment if they choose to spend time with you, but especially if they lay closely with you at night. Wild cats are most vulnerable at night, and your house cat shares this instinct. Laying with you could help them feel protected, or they may need to defend their favorite human during the night. How do cats choose who to sleep with? They usually feel the most bonded to this human and make it a habit of sleeping in the same location each night to stand watch. Number 12. They need you. Needing is a natural behavior, and cats do it for several reasons. As kittens, needing helps to stimulate a mother to produce more milk. They will continue to need when marking their territory, using the scent glands in their paws, and making a comfortable resting place by fluffing up a blanket or pillow. However, cats may also need simply because they are happy and loved. You may even notice your cat making the kneading motions without anything under them to knead. This should signify that they are content and imprinted on you. Number 11. They rub against you. Scent is a pretty big thing to cats. They use it to mark their territory, but a cat's scent calms them. For both reasons, a cat will rub against a human they've imprinted on. Their scent glands are located on their head, on their cheeks, along their sides, at the top of their tail, in their paws, and several other locations. When they are happy and have accepted you, they will likely rub against you often, especially when you come home and they need to reclaim you. Number 10. They show you their belly. For most animals, their belly is their softest and most vulnerable place. Belly rubs are common with dogs, but that's not always the case with cats. It can take a long time to earn enough trust with a cat for them to show you their belly, let alone rub it. Some cats will never like their belly rubbed. However, if your cat does, you can bet they've imprinted on you and trust you fully to care for and protect them. When you are around, they may even begin to show their belly to strangers with or without the rubs. Number 9. They know your routine. Does your cat let you know when it's time to get up, time to eat? Do they stand by the door to say goodbye when you leave for work and meet you there when you come home? Cats that pay attention to your routine care about you and have imprinted on you and inserted themselves into your daily life. They want to be a part of everything you do, and that also translates to being in your space and participating in those activities. Number 8. They chatter or meow. Purring isn't the only way your cat can communicate with you loudly. Chattering is a sound of excitement, and you may hear it when they are watching birds. If they chatter during playtime with you, they are most likely having a lot of fun with their human and see you as the same as a cat. It's believed that a cat's meow was invented purely to communicate with humans. A meow can mean many things, from hunger to love, but if your cat has conversations with you, they've accepted you into their inner circle. Number 7. They play with you. 
It goes without saying that cats don't do anything they don't want to, and they definitely don't do them with people they don't like. While many cats love playing, they won't play with you if they haven't accepted you as part of their family. A cat will most likely choose their favorite human and attempt to play with them first before turning to others in the house to play with. If your cat is bringing you toys, it could mean they want to spend some time interacting with you. If this is a new practice, then congratulations. They've imprinted on you. Number six, they bring you gifts. As kittens grow and a mother cat begins weaning them off her milk, she will bring them fresh meat. She is providing for her kittens with little gifts of food. Adult cats may continue this activity by bringing you gifts of dead birds, rodents, or snakes and they feel like they are playing their part in the family dynamic by providing in their own special way. Number five, they slowly blink at you. Staring contests with your cat may seem a bit awkward. However, they are nothing like the games you played with friends as a kid. These intense stares are a form of communication your cat uses to assure you of their strong connection with you. A long, slow blinking gesture is another aspect of this communication that shows they are happy and secure in their home and completely comfortable in your company. Blinks like this are intentional, especially if they are the ones to initiate it. Next time your cat is nearby, see if you can tell how they feel with a little staring contest. Number four, they sit on your lap. There are many reasons why your cat wants to lay on your lap. Cats have a much higher body temperature and sitting on your lap, which is usually a warm place, helps them maintain that body temperature much easier. It helps that you are a comfy place to lay, especially if you have a comfortable blanket or pillow over you. Added to that, being close to you and the mutual exchange of affection that petting allows, it's no wonder that your cat loves to curl up on your lap while you're watching TV or reading a book. Number three, they watch you. It can feel a little unnerving when a cat stares at you constantly, especially if you are up and moving and their eyes follow you. Some cats may be watching you because they are suspicious, but it's pretty easy to tell if they are on edge or simply interested in your actions. A curious kitty will watch what you are up to until they get bored and do something else. Of course, if you interrupted their sleep or other activities, they might just be communicating that you entered their space. Either way, it's normal cat behavior for cats that trust you. Number two, they follow you. A cat won't spend time around anyone they don't know or don't like. One of the first signs that a cat has imprinted on you or is considering it is that they follow you around. The distance they put between themselves and you is a good indicator of how they feel about you. If they are in the doorway or the next room watching you, it could mean they are trying to get to know you better. If they stick closer, they likely already have and like you. If they have it already imprinted on you, they will soon. Number one, you trip over them. Imprinted cats could stick even closer, like under your feet. Kittens learn how to be cats by closely following their mother. They keep an eye on her, learn to be a cat from her behavior, and observe the world around them while having her close by to protect them. If you are constantly tripping over your cat because they stay glued to your side, it could be that they see you as a mother figure that cares for them, provides their meals, cleans up after them, and offers plenty of loving attention.